Hello guys and welcome back to the Conqueror's Campaigns. So now I'll be entering the Battles of the Conquerors, which is just a couple of different battles from different times. We're gonna go through all of them in chronological order. So yeah. Certain names ring down through history as men and women who shaped the world. Some were forces of chaos, destructive and rapacious. Some were men of honor who fought for the right. Some defended their homelands from invaders, while others used their military might to violently acquire the lands of others. Battles such as Agincourt, Mansecret, and Hastings are remembered as turning points in world history, and names such as Henry V, Yish Sun Shin, and Eric the Red are etched forever as greatest great conquerors. Now relive their tragedies and triumphs. Sounds good. So we'll be starting off with uh, Tors. 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 Yeah, whatever. Tors. And that is the hardest difficulty. So yeah, let's uh, jump straight in. It is impossible to imagine the world ending on such a fine fall day. Yet the storm of Muslim horses continues to rage throughout Europe, leaving conquered cities and shattered armies stunned in its wake. The lightning quick strikes of the Muslim horses break the city of Bordeaux and then Poitiers, leaving precious little of the Frankish kingdom to defend. Yet Charles Martel gathers the disheartened Frankish army for one last stand at the city of Tours. Muslim horses, bred for speed and beauty, begin to splash across the Vienne River. Martel's knights and swordsmen, trudging under the weight of iron mail, struggle to interpose themselves between the Muslims and the city of Tours. Carrion birds circle in the air, anticipating the savagery to come. The rest of Europe watches anxiously, for this is the climax of the Muslim invasion and the last stand of Christian Europe. Okay, hopefully we get to control Charles Martel, because I know he's one of the best uh, units, heroes in the game rather. So, prevent the Muslims from destroying any of your three town centers. Capture the six trade carts in the Moors baggage train and bring them to the cathedral in Tours. The Muslims are attacking outlying Frankish farms. This will slow down, slow them down while you send for Charles Martel's army and build up your defenses. The Berbers and Moors utilize inexpensive troops in combat. While Frankish knights can defeat them, the Muslims spend fewer of their resources fielding their armies. You can click on signs for directions. Okay. The Franks defend the large city of Tours to the north. Charles Martel's army is to the south of the city. There are two armies of Muslims. The Berbers occupy the western edge of the map. They train light cavalry, swordsmen and rams, but their town is not well, well defended and could fall to an early attack. Where was that? That was... To the west, okay. The Moors have occupied the city of Poitiers to the southwest, making their army harder to defeat. They train camels, knights, and scorpions, but will switch to Mamluks given t enough time. Okay, so capture the six trade carts in the Moors. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Uh, wait, are we fighting? Whoa, 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 relax! Oh! <gasps> yeah, Charles Martel. But we will not have long before they are at the walls of Tours. Poitiers has fallen already. I hear you, man. Feels bad, right? Well, okay. So, I know Charles Martel is OP. So we're gonna use him for what he's worth, I think. Oh. Now that's annoying that we get the farm attack noise. Wait, so... To the west, where the Berbers and they're weaker. So we'll... Go straight for the Berbers, I think. Try to see if we can do anything. Whoa! Get to work! Uh, whoa! Oh, well, that's fine. Take them out. I'm not sure if. Wait, do I lose? It? Do I have to keep Charles Martel alive? It says nothing about it, so. YOLO! Oh, more sheep. Come in handy. Oh, 
not sure if I should be sending him on his own though. I believe though. Have faith. We'll uh, we'll keep moving to the left and we'll take it from here. Just keep build. Uh, it seems like we're limited to 75 population. So again, it's a little bit tricky with 75 pop only. You gotta like make right units and stuff. Not sure if I should be sending him on his own here. Why? Why take the risk? Even some of you might ask. And I, I agree with you. I want to kind of sneak. Oh, look how badass he is. So strong. Okay, if we can group up here, I think we can take these on. Uh, I hope so at least. They actually have quite a quite a lot of units. <gasps> Don't spot me, please. Wonder if I get upgrades for Charles here. That's fine. We'll own that. The good thing is he heals as well, right? So. Oh. Oh no. I didn't expect him to have that many units. Oh, this won't end well. End well. What? Martel in battle today. The Franks may keep fighting, but their hearts are no longer in it. <sighs> I so want to restart this now. <laughs> uh, why do they have so many units? It, they give me 75 population and they give themselves like 1 million units. Where's the fairness in this? Triggered. That's uh, what you get for being too adventurous. Ah. Uh, why? I did not expect him to have like 5 million reinforcements. Oh, this is gonna take so much longer now as well, isn't it? Since we have lost Mr. Charles. Wait, what's what? What's worried blue? What were we even supposed to do with Charles? This slow. Wait, the Muslim attacking your outlying Frankish farm. This will slow them down while you send for Charles Martel's army and build up. Well. Okay. So I should have just ignored them, in other words. Now we're just stuck here trying to build up our economy. Yes, bad man. Move some over to gold as well. Why, Charles? Why? So unnecessary. Why? Oh, I'm so triggered. Why do I have to do this? <sighs> We're still on feudal age. I'm like legit sad. <laughs> uh. 
How many woodcutters are these? That should be enough. Let's make a pretty little house wall here. So I get to cast Lage ASAP. I guess we could have just like dodged every unit and run straight inside with Charles. But no, not me. I have to YOLO. Shoot the Mamelukes, man! <sighs> wait, what did they say? Like, the hearts... wait. We lost Charles Martel in battle today. The Franks may keep fighting, but their hearts are no longer in it. Their hearts are not where their baguettes are. So we need... So, I hope that they don't reproduce too many units, because they have a shit ton of camels and light cavalry here. We are Franks though, with that. so I think we're just gonna add stables and try to go a lot of knights. And cast Lage. How many farmers do we have now? 24. Pretty solid. What the hell is teaching these AI to make mining camp for us? We're losing units to our towers as well, so but I think if we mess up like say 25 knights ish, should be a good start. I don't think we can make more builds in that case. We'll add a third stable as well, do all the upgrades. So the mission was again to capture, don't lose any town centers and capture the five the trade cards somewhere. Okay. Probably gonna need less farmers. Game goes on. We also can drop a castle somewhere. I don't know where we want to do that though. Not like any place makes sense at the moment. Is that a fourth? Oh! That's not cool. We're not a fourth stable as well. Let's see. Do that. And we'll start producing. Okay, okay, okay. Wanna do hand card as well? Make our farmers more efficient, and we also want to do the wood upgrade, naturally. They're not the greatest upgrades, so I think if we just make enough knights, we can overrun them. Don't know how long it will take to like... Uh, why am I still making bills? Just have it. What? Imperial? Not very nice. Yeah, we're gonna need more on gold. They're like hitting my walls. I don't like it. They only have light cover. A few camels and mostly light cover here, so like once we have a decent number of knights, we should be able to break. At least yellow's army pretty quickly. Probably have to delete villagers actually. It being limited to 75 wheels or pop leaves you so little wriggle, wiggle room. I don't like how their scores are climbing so rapidly. Do I want to drop a castle though? I'm thinking no at the moment. We have all upgrades now, right? Yeah. So I want to attack them before I do like all kinds of upgrades. 
Herbers since they are Imperial Age. Let's try and go for them here. They're gonna go just the light cap. I wanna engage. Go, go, let's fight. Poor Squeen is coming. We also have towers helping out here. I guess it's nice. Yep, light cut aren't too strong. Yeah, I wonder how much like how much armor they have left now. We cleaned a lot of units there. So I just wanna run straight to the left now and see if we can actually just like God damn it. They have the same upgrades now. We have better patrol though. Delete, delete, delete. Starting to float a lot of food all of a sudden. I'm hoping that once we clean their starting units like these and all the light cabin stuff that we cleaned earlier, that they won't have too much left. At least that's what I'm hoping. Whether that is correct or not. I will, I do not know, but let's see, we'll build up an army again. Is this all the gold we have? We'll have to expand to get more gold after this. Luckily the market prices are really good as well. Let's add more farms. Farms, I mean stables. Might as well use it for something. Okay, they did say the Berbers were to the west. So we'll start moving there now. Uh, is there anything else we should do? Maybe some monks? But they do cost gold. I don't want to spend gold. Oh, sorry. I wonder if we could just win this with pure cavalry. Pure knights, pretty much. Okay, now we just send everything down towards the left. Hope for the best. Berbers were vulnerable to an early attack, according to what they said. I don't know if it still this counts as early still. That's a nice pick. I still want to kind of get rid of Ills. Just to get, get rid of more pop. We can go Imperial. I should probably do that. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to take out Yellow with what we have now. Let's see. Yurts. Stables. Actually, we didn't even have to bother with Yellow, did we? Because they. The mission is to take the five trade cards in more space. I guess we'll just try and take out the stable so they can't produce reinforcements. These guys can just die to, die to the towers, I don't mind. I wonder if there's gold. Uh, is this the only place there's gold? We'll try to sneak one villager just to make a... Just to make a uh, town center. Use this guy to scout. Or should we even bother with the stables? Let's just go straight for the town center, eh? That's what I've been learning through the last couple of uh, to the last three campaigns so far. That once the towers, not towers, town centers are gone, they give up. They have Balkan though, that kind of sucks, but we'll go for it. Are you ready? I don't know which one they're targeting. Is it this one? Well, whatever. Seems like we're getting it. Like, if they resign by taking out a town center, I mean, then... In theory, by losing town centers, you shouldn't resign. Then it make, kind of makes the AI very easy to abuse. In many ways. Let's see. 
they actually do resign by just losing the town center. Morse is still with cast late, so that's kind of nice. Okay, they're not resigning. At least not yet. I don't know, don't know if it's been trying to help them or what. Just running around. Maybe they have another town center. We'll see. We'll go have a look. I mean, there's a stone road leading down here. So it might be another town center. These ramps look juicy, though. Yeah, I want to save for so we can go straight for Paladin. I also want to send some veils forward because I predict we'll need siege or green. Don't know for sure, but that's what I think. What are flags next to all the yurts? Did it say, did it say something? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Usually they're, the flags mean something. I guess not. Well, I don't see what else yellow has now. We pretty much wiped the floor with the burbus. Crossroads. What does well click the signs for directions they say and I click the sign and it says sign. Not very helpful. Green villagers. Oh green castle. Okay, so we that's why I thought I figured we might need siege. Right, why do I have a cavalier here? Imagine now if we have Charles Martel with us. So let's make sure these villagers get a safe passage. And, uh, probably drop a forward castle as well while we're at it. Some sort, so we can make traps. Oh wait, is that open? Do they not have a gate? Seems like they're open. The Muslim baggage train is protected inside. If we can capture it, they will retreat back from whence they came. Nice. They are making Mamluks now. Drop a castle here at the, another sign that says sign. Poitiers Westgate. No spitting. What? No spitting. Hopefully we can get that castle up though. Where? How far? Ah, we're gonna have to fight, even though it's not very efficient. Stables are so far away. No, we're gonna lose them. Ah, uh, this is bad. Pull back wheels. Well, that was kind of silly by me. I mean, they have pure counter units here too, but they don't have that many upgrades. And once we have Paladin, I mean, we should be able to take them right. Please don't attack Vils. We'll come in peace. Okay, now we have Paladin. Ah, uh, Cast is losing HP though. Stop running around and fight like real men! We have villagers close here. Send a few more. We need. We don't have that many resources. Well, resources, those. So we need to like, kind of balance our stuff here. This gold mine is almost gone. We'll move, blah, we'll move them to stone and we'll sell stone. I think. So we won't need more than one castle. I think to get. To get the trebs that we want. Can we even? No, 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 no. Leave the veils alone. It might actually help us a little bit. They just focus on the veils. Lost one, maybe two. Uh, one villager. Yeah, that's okay. Now oh, you should have enough paladin, no? Yes, open the gate for us. Open the gate. <gasps> Keep it open. Oh, ah! 
<sighs> oh, come out again, Scorp. Okay, their bases weren't too big though. They just had a really big like starting army. I feel like now their forces are smaller. Another another sign that says sign. Now entering Poitiers. Okay. Come on, open the gate for us. Open the gate, yes. Come on, come on, Camel. Yes. Okay, now we gotta leave one unit inside the gate. Keep it open. No attack stance. Just so it never closes. Or the chosen one. Okay, let's look for those uh, trade cards. Oh! Right, our mission was to bring them to the cathedral. Okay, cathedral, right? Let's keep it away from tower fire, stuff like that. Well, the worst part now that I think about it is <laughs> losing Charles Motel. I mean, he's another hero, right? And. I'm so gonna hear that. Wonder if doing uh, the speed upgrade for trade cards would have given us the speed bonus here. I'm actually quite curious about that. Get wrecked, Moss. Okay, so we. I want to send units with them though, because. I assume we have to bring all six of them to complete the mission. So I don't want to lose any of them, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it will affect them since we got them from Gaia. We'll do it anyway, caravan, just because, why not? See here. Seems like it's safe. One knight running around. <laughs> I, I was legit very close to starting over again because just because I lost Charles Martel. It's one of the like whenever you play the scenarios like uh, the blood campaigns and stuff like that scenarios. Charles Martel is like al always the. Last unit before Genghis Khan, who is the strongest unit. So he's one of the strongest heroes in the game. So that was kind of a shame. But you know, it worked out. They said the French... French... Uh... Wait, hang on. <laughs> no spitting, no spitting, no spitting. Uh, Franks may keep fighting, but their hearts are no longer in it. They were in it, and we did it. Look how we're owning that night. Okay, so send it to the cathedral here, I suppose. Guarded by the Frankish Paladin. It's a worthy way to enter the gates. Okay, okay. Good stuff. Hello. The Muslims have retreated from Frankish lands. We are victorious. Yes. Did it. Battle tours. They will lose. They will miss out on anything here. Whoa! What's this big graveyard? Didn't see this. Uh, not a sign that just says sign. Click the signs for directions, they said. Very helpful. Wonder why yellow was still in the game. Oh, probably because he had like two wheels, I guess. Fair enough. So they just started with a lot of units. I wonder if it's going to be the same for the rest of the Battle of the Conquerors. We'll see, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's hear the aftermath. The soul of the Frankish army was its knights. But Charles Martel knew that his cavalry, undisciplined, buried under weight of weapons and armor, could not match the swiftness of the Muslim riders. 
Therefore, he ordered the knights to dismount and join ranks with the Frankish swordsmen to form a tight shield wall. The Muslims had always conquered with swift offensiveness and were not equipped to counter the Franks' defensive strategy. The arrows of the Muslim archers bounced harmlessly off the heavy Frankish armor, and the light Muslim cavalry could not breach the human chain. Battered and bleeding, the Muslims broke ranks and fled back to the Pyrenees and the protection of Spain. From Charles Martel's Frankish kingdom eventually grew the Holy Roman Empire, making him the founding father of both Germany and France. Founding father, but he'd be dead, man. He'd be dead. Like, pass on the screen now if you want to see any of these stats. Moving on. Yeah, they never, like, passed this amount of villagers. They always... Yeah, they started with a big army. But once we clean, like, their start, big starting armies, they didn't really have too much to offer. So, yeah, there's nothing that shows that we actually beat this mission. But, yeah. So that was the first one of the Battle of the Conquerors. Tors next up will be Hastings, if I'm not mistaken, yes. No, Vinland Saga, which seems Vikingish. So moving on to my home turf almost. So hopefully you're hyped for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.